everybody. Welcome back for another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli, and we're here with Scott Gordon today at the Works Pizza Shop in Loveland, Ohio. How you doing, Scott? Good to see you today. I'm doing great. Thanks for coming out. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are right now? Well, right now we are in a 1921 Pullman car, uh, and the story behind that was uh, it goes back to the history of Loveland. Uh, so we had our, we opened our restaurant in 2004, uh, actually 2003, but at the end of, of 03. Uh, and, and so many times did we talk about the history of the building. It was originally built in 1905 to support the railroad. It was a water filling station for the steam locomotives. So when it came time that I wanted to put an addition on the building, I thought, hey, let's, put a, let's put a dining car in. Um, and connect that to the restaurant somehow. So I looked and looked and looked uh, and finally found uh, this rail car out in Gettysburg. Uh, it was Gettysburg, Gettysburg Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, it, was, it was rusted away behind the railroad station of the battlefield at huh. Gettysburg. Uh, so story is that, that it is haunted with, with some, of those, some of those ghosts from, from the, the, the Civil War. Uh, and, and we've had some weird things going on. Um, so it's, uh, it's, some people say it's haunted by old railroad guys, some from old, old Confederate and Union soldiers. So, uh, regardless, uh, we got it. It was a, it was a bucket of rust when we, when I got it, um, and I had to transport it from there to here. We closed down downtown Loveland, had huge cranes, lifted it off, had to. Um, two o'clock in the morning, you know, bring it over. It took us a couple days to get it in spot. Built a hundred foot of, uh, rail. of rail right underneath us uh, to set it on there, and then I stripped it down to bare metal, uh, and then and then rebuilt it uh, as huh. close to 1921 as I could. Uh, and, and this is an original Pullman car, correct? This is, yes. Yeah. yeah. So the color scheme is as close as I could get it. Uh, the, the upholstery was was. You know, as far as pictures that we found, we're, we're pretty close. Um, so, and it's and it's been great uh, as far as private parties or just general dining. Kids love it, adults love it. Uh, you know, it's a good nostalgia. Oh, I, I had lunch in here a few weeks ago, and that was that, that was the best lunch right. I ever had. It was great. It, yeah, it just it just feels like feels like the old the yeah, old time. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, and one little bit of note, we, we renamed the car, it originally was named the Crusader. I called the historical, the Greater Cincinnati Railroad uh, Historical Society and asked them, what's the, what's the protocol for renaming a rail car? And they're like, no, 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 no you, can't, you can't rename a, a train car, its huh. name is its name. I said, oh, that's too bad because my wife's grandfather was an engineer and he drove these tracks and you know, ever since after World War II, he you know, retired from the railroad. I wanted the name of the T.R. McManus. And they were like, that's the one exception. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know? So in, in honor of, of an old railroad guy, we renamed it the T.R. McManus. Uh, so and he, he was the first person to, uh, to eat on it. Um, and and it, it was before it was officially opened that, that he came and ate on it. Uh, and then he passed away. So, but that was, that was a a good honor for oh, us. Oh yeah, too. absolutely. Yeah. So, so tell us about the building. Uh, the building was built in 1905, uh, like I said, to originally support the railroad. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when steam locomotives, you know, went by the wayside with uh, uh, with the diesels coming through, uh, the building kind of transformed and Cincinnati Gas and Electric purchased it and he used it as an electric generating plant. Okay. So there was a big water wheel on the Little Miami River this generated electricity, which the city of Loveland uh, was the first outside the city limits of Cincinnati to have its own power, huh. so because of this building. Uh, and then through the years, it, it became, you know, a lot of public, public um, type of public works, public storage. It was a temporary fire station while they were re rebuilding the new one. Um, so that's when, and then it was, we used to build floats in here. Uh, when I was in high school, you know, really? because it was just being used for storage for yeah. the city, uh, it was just you know kind of deteriorating away. Uh, and when I finally got the building and turned it into a building or turned it into a restaurant, uh, tried to come up with a name for it, and the building had been the works, and that's 
where we came up with the works because of the building, not necessarily because of, and it made sense with pizza, you know, getting yeah. up with the works, get, you know, so it, it made sense, but it was mainly because of the building. Huh. Right. It's a great looking building, it really is. It is, is. Yeah, it is. And the building was, the building was the passion for me to open a restaurant. Um, I, it was not, not my background or anything, it was mainly the building's calling uh, into, we hated seeing that building kind of sitting vacant. It was, it was vacant for 17 years. The, uh, the city was trying to get people to do something with it, but the renovations were just were too great. It was too costly. So in my own ignorance or arrogance, I don't know which which one, I thought, you know what, I can do it. I, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do all the work myself. Yeah. Yeah. So there was no electricity, there was no plumbing, there was no heating and air conditioning, there was no nothing in there. So we took, you know, stripped it all back and stepped back a little bit. Thought, all right, here's the best place for a bar. Here's the here's the best place to put the kitchen. Let's let's start from scratch. Uh, and and I did. Uh, my brother-in-law helped me out immensely, um, and he still works here. Um, and then my sister-in-law helped train the staff. My, you know, uh, it was a huge family, a huge family venture. Uh, friends and neighbors. I mean. You know, came in and chipped in, helped paint, helped do it. And it worked. It did. It did. Yeah. yeah. So well, you guys specialize in pizza, now, right? We do. So tell us about that. Um, my my before we moved back to Love, my wife and I, um, my last duty station in the Marine Corps was at the Pentagon, and there was this pizza joint that we went to once a week, and it was a brick oven pizza joint, and absolutely loved it, and there was nothing like that in Cincinnati just kind of matched, you know, it, it fit, it worked. Um, so, and that was kind of what I was thinking, like, brick oven pizza. So I, so I called up the owner and said, hey, this is Captain Gordon. Uh, he said, oh, yeah, 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 you know, you know, haven't seen you in a while. I said, yeah, you know, I got out of the Marine Corps and, and told him what my plans were. And he said, absolutely, I will help you in any way I, I possibly okay. can. You know, there's no, no competition for him. Um, and he said, the only thing I ask in return is, uh, you know, next time I come through Cincinnati, you know, give me a place to stay and give me something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he, hit, he did come through. He did not stay at my house, but he came through and he ate at, uh, he ate at the works. And he said, I'll tell you what, it's the second best pizza I ever had. So I'll take that as a pretty good call. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, you guys are open seven days a week then, right? We are open every day, uh, lunch and dinner. We open at 11 o'clock every day, um, you know, closed for the big holidays, yeah. But, but yeah. You have a website everything. or a Facebook page? We do. Um, it's just the works, or the works pizza .com, Okay. Um, uh, and on Facebook and, and everything okay. too. Alright, sounds good. Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank All you. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Remember, travel, travel slowly. slowly and stop often. <laughs> See ya.